Hi, my name is Peter Chin Hong, and I'm an infectious disease physician faculty member at UCSF. Today I'm going to give an overview of HIV clinical disease and opneurotic infections. Here's our pathogen map that you all know very well with a whole host of my favorite organisms, including the subject of today, which is HIV. Although, as you will see, we will also be discussing a host of other pathogens, which are opportunistic infections. These are our learning objectives for this module. In this section, we will learn how immunologic changes associated with HIV infection influence the clinical manifestations of the disease. We will, in essence, define opportunistic infection and describe the common bacterial, fungal, viral, and protozoal opportunistic infections associated with HIV infection. The late stage of HIV infection is AIDS. At this point, CD4 count is less than 200. This late stage is manifested by the appearance of an increase in the frequency and severity of opportunistic infections and malignancies. Listed on this slide are some of the common opportunistic infections seen by organ system. The two most characteristic manifestations of AIDS are PCP pneumonia and Kaposi sarcoma. These were featured on the famous MMWR reports from the CDC, heralding the appearance of AIDS in the U.S. for the first time. On the images, these are two other characteristic clinical findings of AIDS. On the top image, there is a T2-weighted MRI showing JC virus-associated progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, or PML. There's no mass effect, and the white matter changes predominate. On the bottom image, this HIV-positive patient presents with signs of EVB-associated advanced oral hairy leukoplakia, or OHL, on the lateral border of his tongue. This can happen at a variety of T-cells, and not necessarily uh, less than 200. Again, PCP and, and KS were the first clinical descriptions of AIDS in the United States. We use the number of CD4 positive T cells as an important measure to guide clinical decisions in the healthcare setting as they predict which opportunistic infections or OIs can occur at various points. When CD4 count is less than 400 or even higher, so a relatively well preserved CD4 count in a patient, the following can be seen thrush, BZV, TB, and bacteria. Let's talk about each of these a little more in the next slide. Let's start with thrush or oral candidiasis. It has a typical appearance on clinical exam with white plaques on the buccal mucosa, palate, tongue, or oropharynx. It is caused by fungus, yeast, candida albicans typically. It usually lives on the skin and in the GI tract, and we treat with fluconazole. Zoster is caused by varicella zoster virus, characterized by a characteristic vesicular rash in a dermatomal distribution with acute neuritis which is painful. Diagnosis is usually clinical and we treat with acyclovir at high doses. In many HIV patients that I know and treated, zoster reactivation was the first indication of HIV infection. TB is caused by uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis. HIV patients are at an 8% increased risk of reactivation of TB every year, regardless of CD4 count. The image is, shows a chest x-ray of a person with advanced TB. Infection in both lungs is marked by white arrowheads, and the formation of a cavity is marked by the black arrows. Finally, bacterial infections in general, such as those caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae and the various strep pneumoniae diseases, are also more common in those who are HIV infected, regardless of CD4 count. The image on the far right is a chest x-ray showing a very prominent wedge-shaped area of airspace consolidation in the right lung, which is characteristic of bacterial community-acquired pneumonia, typically strep streptococcus pneumoniae. AIDS is the result of chronic HIV infection and the concomitant decline of CD4 cells to less than 200, or the presence of AIDS-defining conditions such as PCP pneumonia, regardless of the CD4 count. OIs that can occur when CD4 count are less than 200 include PCP pneumonia, HSV reactivation, and the watery diarrheal causes of cryptosporidium, microsporidium, and isospora. Let's flesh these out a little more in the next slide. PCP pneumonia is caused by the fungus Pneumocystis urovetsii. It is the AIDS-defining illness for many patients who are unaware of their HIV status and I've treated many of these uh, during training and, and even present time. 
we typically diagnose PCP in a patient who has a subacute presentation of a dry cough with hypoxia. Diagnosis is made with a chest x-ray showing diffuse infiltrates and induced sputum with a silver stain showing cysts. The anterior posterior or AP chest x-ray on the left reveals radiologic evidence of PCP in the form of bilateral pulmonary interstitial infiltrates. On the next picture, uh, I show reactivated HSV, which is also common in patients with CD4 count less than 200. This image is from the labia of a patient with AIDS showing multiple painful shallow ulcers. Finally, in the last picture, this is a depiction of cryptosporidium, which is a protozoa that causes chronic watery diarrhea. Isospor and microsporidium are related organisms that cause similar clinical findings. This micrograph of a direct fecal smear is stained to detect cryptosporidium species using a modified cold Kenyan acid fast staining technique. And under an oil immersion lens, the cryptosporidium oocysts, which are acid fast stain red, and the yeast cells, which are not acid fast, stain green. My proof is that cryptosporidium is acid fast, but the other two are not. The most effective therapy for those vexing symptoms related to this watery diarrhea is antiretroviral therapy. Opportunistic infections that occur with increasing frequency when CD4 count is less than 100 include candida esophagitis, toxoplasmosis, and histoplasmosis. This is generally reactivation of histoplasmosis. On the west coast, coccidioidomycosis can also be seen. These are some of the images and the disease characteristics of these OIs, which occur with CD4 count less than 100. The first picture on the left shows an endoscopic image of esophageal candidiasis in a patient. Brushins confirmed the presence of hyphae and pseudohyphae consistent with candida. Patients may complain of uh, you know, painful swallowing, and this may be the first tip-off of esophageal candidiasis. Toxoplasmosis in the next picture in AIDS is noted for its ring-enhancing aspect found on imaging. The image shows uh, typical ring-enhancing lesions on MRI. CNS lymphoma can have a similar appearance. We treat with sulfadiazine and pyrimethamine. Finally, in the last picture on the right, uh, this is a Giemsa-stained photomicrograph revealing numerous histoplasma cap capsulatum fungal organisms in the yeast stage of development which was seen in this liver tissue specimen. In this case, uh, the patient had disseminated histoplasmosis. Itraconazole is a drug of choice for histoplasmosis. With CD4 count less than 50, CMV retinitis, disseminated MAC, and cryptococcal meningitis can be seen. Let's flesh these out some more. On the image on the left, uh, this, this uh, shows a fundus photograph of CMV retinitis. This is really a devastating cause of blindness of many young people in the era of before antiretroviral therapy was widely used. The next image in the middle shows a CT scan of a patient with right middle lobe aspiration and mycobacterium avium infection consistent uh, with MAC. Uh, patients may usually present with wasting, uh, night sweats, fevers, and an astute physician would then draw blood cultures and hold it for a few weeks uh, to look for disseminated MAC. Uh, we would treat this with a combination of azithromycin, rifampin, and ethambutol. Finally, the last image uh, shows a very characteristic staining, uh, India ink staining, in the CSF consistent with cryptococcal meningitis, which is the most common fungal meningitis in AIDS patients. This is caused by cryptococcus neoformans. It is a yeast. Uh, again, uh, you can do an India ink staining on the CSF, but what's typically uh, more commonly done these days is a CSF CRAG or, or serum uh, CRAG, which is a cryptococcal antigen. We treat uh, initially with amphotericin and flucytosine and give a tail of fluconazole following this. The immunosuppression induced by HIV and AIDS also uh, increase the uh, incidence of certain malignancies as depicted on this slide. Coprosy sarcoma is associated with Coprosy sarcoma associated herpes virus or KSHV. It's uh, very, very characteristic and you can see these violaceous plaques that occur on the skin and also uh, can occur viscerally as well. 
in, in the lungs uh, and in all the other organs. The most effective therapy for carpal C sarcoma is antiretroviral therapy, although you can certainly administer chemotherapy such as doxyl um, uh, for amelioration prior to ART. The next slide shows a depiction of cervical cancer caused by human papillomavirus, a devastating cause of mortality in, in many parts of the world uh, where there's not widespread pap testing. Uh, we, can uh, we can diagnose cervical cancer certainly by uh, pathology and biopsy, um, and it's treated by a variety of measures, including surgery, chemotherapy, and XRT. Uh, Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is the next picture, and that's associated with Epstein-Barr virus, um, diagnosed uh, via pathology, and treated by a combination of antiretroviral therapy, chemotherapy, and, and XRT. Uh, this uh, picture shows a large B-cell lymphoma. And finally, the picture on the uh, extreme right uh, depicts a uh, primary CNS lymphoma, uh, which is associated with Epstein-Barr virus. It's interesting with that patients uh, present with CNS lymphoma really when T cells are less than 50, as opposed to the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, where uh, any immunosuppression induced by HIV at any T cells can really increase one's risk for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Whereas in CNS lymphoma, we tend to see uh, T cells really under 50. We can diagnose this by a typical imaging, which could be mistaken for toxoplasmosis, uh, and then confirmed by biopsy. We treat uh, CNS lymphoma with uh, antiretroviral therapy and chemotherapy. Uh, thanks a lot for your attention.